so we're gonna take a road trip and when i'm taking a road trip i usually don't get dolled up i don't put makeup on so we're gonna go on a road trip around not all around a little around wichita falls because i hear all the time what's in this town and i know i do some amazing videos talking about how much i love wichita falls and at the end of the day exactly what it looks like from the dash cam of my car so stay tuned because we're going to get started we're going to start going out of my driveway and drive around and see some of our fun shopping so stay tuned we're starting right now okay here we go Okay, so it's a bright, sunshiny day in Wichita Falls at 60 degrees. This is, it's 11 o'clock, 11.30. That's a pretty good temperature. And I'm leaving my house. So I wanted to just take a minute. Um, this is my <laughs> brand new toy, this dash cam. It took me forever to figure out how to make it work. But I wanted to show you the town because I've done it in a lot of different videos holding my um, cell phone out the window. This is Missile Road. So I want to get, for those of you that are thinking about moving here, a sense of the community from a driving around perspective. I hear a lot of times that people come here, I don't know, Southern California, everything's green all the time, which is really not, but um, in the winter time we have winter. So you can just see basically all the trees have lost their leaves and it's actually a bright shiny day so that's fabulous and if it was overcast and dreary it would feel bleak which that's what some of the comments are when people come here because they don't know what to expect and of course i make it sound so fantastic which it is and yet there's a version that you see with your eyes that you're expecting something so you can see right in front of us all those trees they're dead they're not dead they've lost their leaves but it just looks a little brown so all the grass is brown this is what happens when things freeze um, if you've lived anywhere outside of Florida or California or even the upper Northwest where everything's green all the time you see this so this is going to be speeded up here in a minute but we've left here it's 11:34 in the morning i'm going to show you we're going to go drive down best buy we're going to drive where people drive that live by the base first of all and people think that the base is so far away when it's 10 minutes from town however when you get here and you get spoiled that everything's so close you kind of forget so we're going to drive this is called the 44. Now, this again is a road that people will come in from Oklahoma and they see, you can see all around, all the trees have lost their leaves. Some of them still have a little bit left on them. It's a beautiful blue sunshiny day though, which is what I think is gorgeous. Um, and if you come through here and it's all bleak and dreary, then it does throw people off. I'm gonna say that. But at the end of the day, as we're running through here, it's gonna take us 12 minutes or so to get to Best Buy. But this is uh, the 44, and there's not a lot happening right here from here to where we hit the main drag, which is uh, Kel. So, unfortunately, what happens is people will come through here and say, oh my gosh, there's nothing here. And there's a lot of places where there aren't things. Um, which actually is some of the charm and the draw but this is not the main thoroughfare so if you look on both sides there's not a lot of action happening um, but this is the drive that I take every single day and it's just become so familiar yet I'm trying to look at it through other people's eyes this off-ramp right here is to the Walmart so what happens is a lot of people will say there's not a lot of business out here by the base so we have Walmart there's a ton of little fast food restaurants here we've got Taco Bell we've got um, Kentucky Fried Chicken you got Jack in the Box you got um, Cracker Barrel I call it Cheddar House and we're putting in a car wash here so that's fantastic but this is the kind of the extent of the commerce if you will out here by the base and then the next stop the other direction is Burke and if you go on this road here you go to Iowa Park so we'll do that on another video 
right now you can see this sign says go to Shepherd Air Force Base. So if you make that loop around and you go out that way, you'll be right there at Shepherd. Here is um, the next street that oh, people get a little, however people look at things, I think it's fascinating. It's not a ton of, this is what you would say is Hotel Row, but if you were driving in um, on the main drag, which is 44, and you were just driving through town, you'd probably drive right by here. And so we have all these hotels. You've got, first you have a Denny's, you have a Motel 6, you have an Oyo, um, you've got Whataburger, you have La Quinta. And so this does not necessarily always impress people as the hottest place in town. But if this is all you see, and then you make a determination that this is, wow, something's going on at the Whataburger. Um, if this is what you see and this is how you determine whether or not this is what the whole town is like then that's a big mistake so you can't do that however people do so we just now passed the um, another Fairfield that they've um, redone and then you get off on this street this is called Old Iowa Park Road and you go straight down um, to a neighborhood towards Iowa Park and when you drive down that direction it's usually not people aren't very impressed with it and I will tell you there are areas in our community that are poor I have said that I'm pretty sure on several videos but the thing is is that some people they work for minimum wage they have two um, adults working in the house that bring in money and we don't have a huge um, a high income population here which is part of the reason that the cost of living is so low so it's a trade-off and you know that sometimes it's really important to understand that not everything should be filtered or compared to another city that's a bigger city our population for Wichita Falls is I don't know what this last census was I think it was 102,000 but then we have surrounding areas here's a hotel that poor thing has been never watched or taken care of but um, hopefully you can see the falls right there uh, boop 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 we just passed the falls so that's the big falls so then as we come into town this is basically what I call the interchange so I could go um, to 281 which you saw a sign for that that's going to take me to Jacksboro and um, out the 281 uh, there's a lot of activity out there and I'll go do a video on that or you could take the 287 which you can see right here and that goes to Dallas that's north or you take where we're in this lane behind this slow moving truck so I'm gonna get around him um, and this is the main drag so you can see from here This is now starting to look like a town. So over to your right is the hospital. We've got a big hospital district. Um, this is a overpass. So if we were to drive underneath it, which we'll do in another video, um, you can get into all these businesses. And once again, when you look out, this in the springtime is gorgeous. And with the leaves off of the trees, it looks a little stark and naked, but that's what happens in the winter in areas that freeze. If you lived anywhere in the Midwest, the Northwest, the South, you know that. So as I come around here, this is what was the access road is Kel. So I've talked about Kemp and Kel and go review those videos. But here we are on the main thoroughfare where this is the main freeway, if you will, in town. It's uh, 82, but it is old Kel. And so there's a little neighborhood over here that I um, talk about called uh, Brook Village 2. If you go over to that side, that's Brook Village. If I were to get off on Harrison, I would be in Brook Village. And I've done a video on Brook Village. And the other thing is, is that um, you can see sort of what's happening in the town. This is just the, the freeway thoroughfare. There's not a ton of... Um, businesses along the freeway like there are in some other communities you have to get off the freeway which is what we're going to do this is our big freeway in California this could be three times this size and once again it's just um, a little bit sparse but you know you can see evergreens um, this is uh, a historic building this is a um, 
apartment complex down here and I've done some videos on those structures and it's really just a lovely community and it's got seasons it's got um, people that are happy people that are not happy people that are joyous and just like any other community it's got people that are wealthy people that are not wealthy people in between and where's there's a new building going in right there so there's new building going on which I really appreciate but there's also some buildings here that are uh, falling down if you will and so that's why when I talk about the investment opportunities there's so many neighborhoods and I'm gonna do a video on where those opportunities are because if you've got money to invest this is an absolute fabulous place to begin to um, revitalize or vitalize as I say a community so we just got off at Kemp Kemp Kell is named after our two founders Joseph Kemp and uh, what's Kell's last first name I forget um, and this is the main drag right here so we are on Kell and this is Kemp that's going this way we're gonna go south of here if you go north on Kemp you're in more of the older um, city and some of those neighborhoods uh, or businesses just lost traction because they built this large freeway and now everybody goes south of the freeway because when they bought built the freeway they also built the mall so the mall um, now that malls are dying but back in the day malls were what were the hub of communities so they built these malls and then businesses flock to the malls and even now our mall even though it's dying the businesses have moved a little bit more um, west of here so as we go down south on Kemp you get into um, the business district and this is where basically your shopping happens so what I wanted to show you was is that we do have a thriving shopping area a lot of people as I said come in on that 44 they don't know <laughs> what the town is they determine and judge the whole town based on that little short a um, couple of miles stretch of a freeway and over to your left if I can turn that over oh my hands in the way um, you got a Cinemark over there we've got a great shopping center over there we have a Starbucks that everybody lines up for they've got the drive-in Starbucks um, this is like I said this is the shopping area here there's a Crunch Fitness, um, we got Banks, we got Papa John's, we've got um, a Fa restaurant, we got Applebee's, um, you got Hamilton Bryan, which is a um, locally grown furniture store, you got McDonald's, you got nail spas everywhere, and they calls jewelry. Everything you can imagine, honestly, is up and down this thoroughfare. And then there's another shopping area over on Lawrence, which I will take you to on another video. This is, I wanted to just show a drive from by the base. A lot of people watch this video, watch this channel that are looking to um, move here, being stationed at Shepherd. And it's just um, an, a little video to help you kind of navigate around the town. As I said, if you just drive up and down camp, uh, you're gonna find a lot of things that you may not think are even in this town because they're not off of the freeway. So I just wanted to give you a little uh, snippet of this and how long it takes to get here which is I didn't even do time-lapse I don't think I'll let my editor take care of that the um, we got a surgical special specialist we just got a Panera bread we have a huge shopping center over here with TJ Maxx TJ Maxx and Rib Crib and Ross and Schlotzky's and Mattress Firm if you go down right onto this street which is Caulfield you've got Hooters and we've got a furniture row Denver mattress chick-fil-a which is always super busy here um, we've got pool and spas and a lovely restaurant called the catch which is fabulous um, catfish and um, all that good fun stuff and I'm gonna get over because we are almost here at the Best Buy so you can see the Best Buy right ahead I'm picking up uh, a camera so I can take photography, which I'm really excited about. So that's it. Um, it took, I think, about 12 minutes to get here. 
and that's my first video with this dash cam I'm so excited to be able to drive you around Wichita Falls now as opposed to just sitting in my or standing in my studio and talking about it because I really wanted you to get a flavor for what this community is like so I'm gonna end this video and hop into Best Buy and maybe we'll go to Lawrence after this bye bye now okay so we are leaving Best Buy they didn't have my order which was fabulous okay so I thought I'd just drive down uh, to Lawrence while I'm out so as you can see actually is right in front of us across the street from Best Buy is our lovely mall so here's the mall goes all the way around to your left and down that street down there called Caulfield and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn left here they got a book chameleon over there got a red robin one of the fabulous places Brickstone over there um, we'll drive by that in a second uh, they have the most amazing sweet potato fries I would recommend that everyone go to this little place right here Brickstone and then this is once again here's your uh, major shopping TJ Maxx Raw Shoe Carnival it is New Year's Day so not much is well they're open some of them but they're not opening till probably four minutes from now but it's also a good time to drive because everybody's still in their um, New Year's Day coma but that's okay so as you can see Wichita Square right there is Ross TJ Maxx Shoe Carnival Dollar Tree Sally Great Clips Rib Crib Cricket Waxing City Spectrum's in there um, a little cake place there's all kinds of shopping here you just have to get your navigation bearings down and as I said we're gonna turn left here and go down Lawrence which is where a lot of the shopping if you will is that people like to do here so I'm gonna get over and it's just a hop skip and a jump right over here there's a Hooters as I said there's furniture row which people buy all kinds of furniture there's a Chili's here and of course Kohl's for those of you who love Kohl's and all the discounts um, straight ahead on the left is a chiropractor and an allergy place Buffalo Wild Wings um, fantastic Sam's where I get my hair done and there's a McAllister's deli here natural grocers for those of you that love that sort of thing we've got Lane Bryant we've got Burlington Coat Factory a whole lot of other shops are over that way but this is another main drag for shopping we've got our Walmart here you've got Panda Express Cavenders Boot City so for those of you who need boots we've got Old Navy we've got Office Depot um, Firehouse Subs for those people that say there's no shopping here I don't know who they're talking to or about Bed Bath & Beyond is closing but that's pretty much all over the country we've got Michaels we've got PetSmart Ulta um, Academy and you come down just a little bit farther and we've got um, what do we want to call it? Aldi's um, right after this Jack in the Box got another hotel we've got Home Depot Jack in the Box Aldi's and Lowe's and Sam's so that really is a lot of shopping if you ask me I'm not black for shopping and if I can't find it here it's two hours well it's actually an hour and a half to Denton so Denton is the new Dallas and for those of you that love beef we've got Texas Roadhouse right across the street I know that um, I'm not a big beef eater but so many people have told me how much they love Texas Roadhouse and the portions are about this big so that's um, our kind of shopping tour for the day the first day of 2023 and I hope that gives you a little better idea I'll do the same kind of video in the spring so you can see how much more lovely it is with all the wildflowers and that but for now this is our town so y'all come back now here <music>